So I think that this week, that's what's going to be our main focus, eliminating the little mistakes, eliminating the penalties, and we can win games. This is the Crimson Tide Show. The Crimson Tide Show is brought to you in winning tradition by Grady Automotive, celebrating over 50 years of sales, service, and tradition along the Gulf Coast. And Alltel Communications. Alltel, the power to simplify. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Crimson Tide Show. I'm Chuck Floyd. Joining me as always, my good friend and national champion, Vic Lockett. Welcome, Vic. Thank you, Chuck. It's a pleasure to see you, and it's always a pleasure to see you at home watching as well. Chuck, we didn't get the victory we expected against the UCLA Bruins Saturday night, and it also ruined the debut of Coach Fran. Indeed, it was a disappointing loss, but the good news is the football season has arrived. Right now, why don't we take a look at some of the highlights from last Saturday night. After an off season that seemed like an eternity, the 2001 football season finally arrived. 83,000 fans would make the trip to Tuscaloosa and a national ESPN audience would look on. The Bruins of UCLA were making their first trip ever to the state of Alabama, where a big question was who would start as quarterback for the tie. Tyler Watts got the nod and grabbed the helm. The Bruins had hoped to beat the Tide the same way as last year with Deshaun Foster. But Carl Torbush's defense was ready and the going would be tough for the Bruin running back core. Midway through the first quarter, the Tide found itself deep in their own territory. A mishandled snap and blown coverage left sophomore A.C. Carter wide open. Streaking down the sideline, A.C. hauled in the Watts toss for a 78-yard touchdown and an early tied lead. Neil Thomas tacked on a three-pointer, but the Bruins would answer with a score of their own. After a 10-yard Bruin touchdown run, the teams would retire to the half with the Crimson Tide holding a 10-7 advantage. The third quarter would belong to UCLA. A Corey Paws touchdown pass and a couple of Chris Griffith field goals would swing the momentum in favor of the visitors. In the final quarter, the Tide would march to the UCLA two. Needing one yard for the first down, Coach Fran decided to go for it on fourth. Ahmad Galloway took the pitch from Watts, but was forced out of bounds and the Bruins took over. Down by 10 late, Tyler Watts left with leg cramps. Andrew Zhao would make his 2001 debut by completing all three of his pass attempts, including a 69-yard bomb to Freddie Millens with 2.13 left to play. Bama got the ball back with 30 seconds to go, but couldn't get into field goal range. A school record 15 penalties and a pair of turnovers would spoil the season opener for the second year in a row. UCLA 20, Alabama 17. 